What's up everybody? Welcome to York Reacts and today we're going to be checking out $100 markerless mocap data compared to a $25,000 optic setup. So hopefully you guys have seen some of this stuff before and maybe you're new to it. But if you're new to my channel, I do animation for a living. I've actually been using motion capture and working with it for over a decade now. So over 10 years, I've used everything. I've done, I've suited up, I've directed motion capture suits, I've cleaned up the data, I've retargeted the data, I have done everything you can think of with motion capture work. So hopefully I can give some cool insights to this and, and show you some of the things that other people want on other videos. So let's dive in, shall we? Now this is basically a $100 setup compared to a $25,000 setup. And here, if you look, I'm slow mowing all this and the one on the right is the one that's using the $25,000 setup, and the one on the left is going to be using the one that's basically a $100 setup. And they're doing this real-time inside Unity. So what you see here on the bottom screen is the Unity real-time character and how it's looking. And same with over here on the left. So let's check it out. One thing you can tell right away is that the position of the character looks kind of a little off already in the knees and legs on this character on the left. So let's let's play it fast, full speed. I'm gonna let you guys just watch it and then we can kind of critique it and go from there. Because right now you might not see a bunch of things that I'm seeing. So it doesn't look too bad, right? I mean, her feet, you know, are mushing around and different stuff, but for some people, this $100 setup here um, on your screen left, would be sufficient and then they can go in and clean up stuff, right? But I want you to take a second here and really see the difference here, okay? So let me slow motion this so I can kind of really break this down for you guys. So one thing that you wanna pay attention to is for one, the feet. The feet on the character on the right are very locked down. They're very on the floor, they're, they're, they're moving according to the character in the middle, the actor. Now, another thing is this character on the left, um, the arms constantly go through each other and they're in wrong positions a lot. And if you see here, she has her right arm kind of curled over and look, her right arm curled over, her left arm back. Look, this is completely different over here on the left. So it's missing the motion completely. And look, see it going into her arm it's, it's, this motion here on the left would take a really, really long time to clean up compared to the motion here on the right. And this is why. So if you look at certain moments, her hand, for instance, this character's right hand is, is correct. It's not um, broken and flipped up. And if you look at the character here on the left, her wrist will constantly break and flip and, and, and over rotate basically. And that's stuff that you have to fix after the fact. You you can kind of not see it sometimes when it's playing full speed, but for the most part, it, it's very, very obvious, um, especially when you slow motion some of this stuff. And the positions are different as well, okay? So there are certain moments in the acting and the performance that you want to preserve, right? You want the character to to uh, basically be in the, the same position, right? And if you look just as an example of this one, look how closer this character to the right resembles the actual actress, right? If you look over here, her arm looks, both arms look broken and incorrect. So interesting, you know, you can spend the $100 and do a setup like this on the left, but this is not for for you know professional use for sure not and for anything that's going to be like polished in a game and, and whatnot it's going to take you a it's going to cost you more than twenty five thousand dollars to clean up the data that you get on the left than it would be to just pay the 25 grand and get this optical setup on the right because it's worth it in the long run the amount of time and hours that it takes animators to clean up the one on the left is is just too much in my opinion, of course. And 
it just depends on like the production, right? It, and if you want something in between that, you can get something like um, the Rokoku suit, I think it's called, or, or I can try to put it up on the screen. Um, but basically, it's a in-home suit that you can put on. It's like $3,000, something like that. It's going to get pretty good data. It's going to get something in between what you see here on the left and what you see here on the very right. So you kind of have to pick your battles and, and, and choose how much money you want to spend during a production and what you're going to do. And even this $25,000 optical setup is is cheap. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of setups that cost like a hundred grand or more than that to get this all set up in a very professional manner. Um, like I used to work at a place called Rouge Mocap and they have a really, really nice setup now. They have a giant, giant stage. They have tons of cameras. It's, it's very, very, very well done over there. And it costs a lot of money to shoot there, right? If you want to like record data there or whatever, it costs a lot of money per day to shoot there. But it's for a reason because you get all these things that you, you're going to save money on later, basically. So pretty cool. Hopefully you guys enjoyed kind of this little breakdown. You can see some of these little things that the, and this is a perfect example of, of like, look at her hands. Okay. So we need her hands to stay in front of her face um, here. Uh, let me show you. Okay. So she goes behind her head, right? And then she comes out in front. Look, her hands are in front of her face, but if the one on the left here, it's, completely buried into her head and you can see the unity character down here it's getting buried into her head but look the optical data looks pretty nice it's capturing it pretty well so we don't have to watch all this to break all this down hopefully you guys can see kind of the differences between you know using hundred dollar data or hundred dollar you know <laughs> marker list setup to a twenty five thousand dollar marker setup right something optical and like i said check out the rokoku setups that they have it's cheaper it's like three grand you can get something in between this like i said hopefully you enjoyed this breakdown it's something new and unique that you probably never seen before who knows i just want to give some cool breakdowns i saw this on my channel and it came up on my feed about breaking down some of this mocap stuff and i knew right away like the big difference is people might not notice without seeing it in slow motion and me breaking down some of it. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what buttons to press. Up above, I'll leave a link to some other breakdowns I've done on some cool movies and different video game trailers. So check them out. I appreciate all your time and support. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.